Hi mga ka-learners! It's me again, Sir Mar. How are you guys? And here we are again for our new video lesson. Just keep on watching, enjoy learning, learn more, and aim high. Welcome back guys! And if you are new to my YouTube channel, can you subscribe? and click the bell icon for more updates. In this video, you will learn solving quadratic equations by factoring. First, with the use of common monomial factor. And let us state our objective. The learner solves quadratic equations by common monomial factor. Let us recall this. Question number one, what is factoring? In algebra, factoring is finding what to multiply together to get an expression or a product. Example, what are the factors of 6? So we will find two numbers that when we multiply, the answer is 6. First, we have 2 times 3 equals 6. Negative 2 times negative 3 equals 6. 1 times 6 equals 6. And negative 1 times negative 6 equals 6. The question is, can we rearrange the order of the factors? Yes, we can. Like for example, in 2 times 3, 3 becomes first. So we have 3 times 2 equals 6. And we can apply to all of these factors. Next. Question number 2. What is common monomial factor? Common monomial factor is the same factor that can be found in each term of a given polynomial. It can be a number, a variable, or a combination of a number and variable. How to take out common monomial factor? Okay, how? In taking out common monomial factor, just look at the greatest common factor of each term. Examples, consider the following polynomials. Number one, ax plus ay. Observe, the terms are ax and ay. So what do you think is the common factor of ax and ay? Okay, good. The only common factor of ax and ay is a. Therefore, the common monomial factor of AX in AY is A. Number 2. 2X squared plus 6X. In 2X squared plus 6X, we have the presence of numerical coefficients higher than 1. We have 2 and 6. Do you think there is common factor for 2 and 6? Yes, there is. And in x squared and x, what would be the common factor? Okay, so we have this. 2 is common factor of 2 and 6. x is common factor of x squared and x. Therefore, 2x is the common monomial factor of 2x squared plus 6x. Next, question number four. What is the standard form of quadratic equations? Okay, the standard form of quadratic equation is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a is not equal to zero. If a is zero, then there is no quadratic term and the equation is linear, not quadratic. Okay, next. And these are the general steps of solving quadratic equations by factoring. Letter A, transform the quadratic equation into standard form if the equation is not in standard form. Letter B, 
factor the quadratic equation using the appropriate factoring technique. Letter C, apply the zero product property by setting each factor equal to zero. Letter D, solve each resulting equation. And letter E, check the values of the variable obtained by substituting each in the original equation. Next, in solving quadratic equations by factoring, we apply the principle of zero product. And what is principle of zero product? Principle of zero product states that if the product of two numbers is zero, then at least one of the factors is zero. Consider a b equals zero. Then either a or b is zero or both are equal to zero. If we have quadratic equation in factored form, then at least one of its factors is zero. Consider quantity of x plus y times quantity of x minus y equals zero. Either the value of x plus y or the value of x minus y is zero. Next. Solving quadratic equations by common monomial factor. Example number one x squared plus 2x equals 0. Again, consider that the equation must be in standard form. And this equation is already in standard form. Next, take out the common monomial factor by looking the common factor of each term of this polynomial. The terms are x squared plus 2x. So what do you think is the common factor of x squared and 2x? Okay, good. The common factor is x. After taking out the common monomial factor, let us write a parenthesis for the other factor. The question is, how to find the other factor? Okay, so we have this one. After finding or taking out the common monomial factor, let us divide each term of this polynomial to our common monomial factor. So let us start. x squared divided by x is x. Next, 2x divided by x is positive 2. So the complete factored form now is x times quantity of x plus 2 equals 0. Next, set up each factor equal to 0. So we have x equals 0 and x plus 2 equals 0. Here, the value of x is 0. Next, in x plus 2 equals 0, let us apply the transposition property of equality or the transposition itself. In applying the transposition property of equality, we have to add the inverse operation of the constant term to both sides. Now, our constant term is positive 2, and its inverse is, and the inverse operation of this is negative 2. So therefore, we will add negative 2 to both sides of the equation. So we have now x plus 2 minus 2 equals 0 minus 2. And the value of x is negative 2. To check if our answer is correct, let us substitute the values of x in the original equation. For x equals 0, and our original equation is x squared plus 2x equals 0, let us substitute the value of x, which is 0, to the equation. 0 squared is 0. 2 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 0 equals 0. So 0 equals 0 is check. For x equals negative 2, x squared plus 2x equals 0. Let us substitute the value of x which is negative 2. We have negative 2 squared plus 2 times negative 2 equals 0. Negative 2 squared means negative 2 times negative 2 which is 4. Next. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. So we have 4 minus 4 equals 0. And 0 equals 0 is check. Therefore, 
the values of x are 0 and negative 2. Next, number 2. 5x squared minus 7x plus 0 is the equation in standard form. Yes. Okay, next. Let us take out the common monomial factor of each term. Now, here we have the numerical coefficients higher than 1, but the question is, do we have common factor for 5 and negative 7 except 1? No, we don't have. What about an x squared and x? Okay, good. We have x. So therefore, the common monomial factor is x. Next, let us divide each term by the common monomial factor. So 5x squared divide x is 5x. Next, negative 7x divide x is negative 7. And the complete factored form is x times the quantity of 5x minus 7 equals 0. Next, let us set up each factor equal to 0. So we have x equals 0 and 5x minus 7 equals 0. So in x equals 0, the value of x is 0. Next, in 5x minus 7 equals 0, again, we will apply the transposition property of equality. So, we will add the inverse operation of the constant term here to both sides of the equation. So, we have 5x minus 7 plus 7 equals 0 plus 7. And our new equation is 5x equals 7. Since we will find the value of x, let us isolate x by what? By means of Dividing both sides of the equation by 5. And next, we have 2 cancel out 5. And we have x equals 7 over 5. Let us check. For x equals 0, 5x squared minus 7x equals 0. Let us substitute the value of x, which is 0. So we have 5 times the quantity of 0 squared minus 7 times 0 equals 0. 0 squared is 0 times 5 is 0. Negative 7 times 0 is 0. So we have 0 minus 0 equals 0. And 0 is equal to 0. Check. For x equals 7 over 5, we have 5x squared minus 7x equals 0. Let us substitute the value of x which is 7 over 5. So we have 5 times the quantity of 7 over 5 squared minus 7 times the quantity of 7 over 5 equals 0. Next, squaring 7 over 5 yield 49 over 25. So 7 times 7 is 49. 5 times 5 is 25. Next, negative 7 times 7 equals negative 49. Then, over 5 equals 0. Next, simplify 5 over 25, and that is 1 over 5. 1 times 49 is 49, and then over 5. Minus 49 over 5 equals 0, so 0 equals 0. Take note, when we multiply fraction, we multiply the numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator. And the whole number here, like 5, and negative 7 have denominator 1. Therefore, the values of x are 0 and 7 over 5. Number 3. 3x squared minus 9x equals 0. And our equation is in standard form. Observe. In 3x squared minus 9x, what would be the common monomial factor? So first, is there common factor of 3 and negative 9? Yes, there is. What about for x squared and x? Yes, there is. Okay, so our common monomial factor is 3x. Next, 
Let us find the other factor by dividing each term of this polynomial to our common monomial factor. Next, 3x squared divide 3x is x. Negative 9x divide 3x is 3. So the complete factored form is 3x times quantity of x minus 3 plus 0. Let us set now each factor equal to 0. We have 3x equals 0 and x minus 3 equals 0. In 3x equals 0, we don't have any other number multiplied to 3. The answer is 0, but 0. So x is 0. Next, in x minus 3 equals 0, let us apply the transposition property of equality by adding the inverse operation of the constant term to both sides of the equation. So we have x minus 3 plus 3 equals 0 plus 3. And the value of x is 3. Now, let us check. For x equals 0, 3x squared minus 9x equals 0. Let us substitute the value of x, which is 0. We have 3 times 0 squared minus 9 times 0 equals 0. 0 squared is what? 0. Times 3 equals 0. And negative 9 times 0 is 0. So we have 0 minus 0 equals 0. And that is 0 equals 0. Check. Next, for x equals 3, 3x three squared minus 9x plus 0, let us substitute the value of x, which is 3. We have 3 times the quantity of 3 squared minus 9 times 3 equals 0. 3 squared is 9. 3 times 3 is 9. Times 3 equals 27. Negative 9 times 3 equals negative 27. So we have 27 minus 27 equals 0, and 0 equals 0, since 27 minus 27 is 0. Check. Therefore, the values of x are 0 and 3. Okay, quick practice. Solve 4x squared minus 4x equals 0. Mga learners, kindly solve using the steps or the learning you've gained from this video lesson. And of course, the continuation of this video lesson is solving quadratic equation by factoring using the reverse of file method where a is equal to 1. So keep on watching, keep on learning, and again, this is Sir Mar. Thank you so much.